India has now reached a major milestone in its commitment towards cleaner and greener energy in the field of oil and gas production with ONGC's prestigious new project of the coast near Andhra Pradesh. The cluster-based development of deep water oil and gas fields is very unique due to its multiple complex interfaces involved with various host facilities. The KGDWN 98x2 Cluster 2 project will add 14.24 million metric tons of oil and 30.5 billion cubic meters of gas over a period of 15 years. It is a flagship project involving the combined development of oil and gas fields with subsea facilities at water depths ranging from 300 to 1,400 meters. This new technological breakthrough at ONGC will open up new avenues for deep water production in Indian waters. The vision of this project is to monetize six oil and five gas discoveries. ONGC achieved the first gas production on 5th March 2020 from the well U3B and subsequently commissioned two more wells. By April 2022, ONGC completed the monetization of three wells in the U field. At present, the U field is producing 1.5 MMS CMD gas, which will be ramped up to its peak production of 3 MMS CMD gradually. Plans are afoot to monetize remaining gas fields by May 2023 through our offshore process platform. This complex project has been given shape with an estimated investment of 31,040 crores. Given that liquid fuel and gas will be the mainstay for India beyond 2040, gas-based power generation can be leveraged to be the intermediary for India's energy transition. There are many firsts to the credit of this project, which is ONGC Spry. The subsea manifolds and structures weighing around 250 tons and the SDU have been fabricated for the first time in India, making us proud of our contribution towards the Make in India initiative. For the first time, a 47-kilometer network of indigenously fabricated 15-inch and 10-inch pipe and pipe lines have been laid across the oil fields. The Integrated Operation System, IOPS, is India's first digital oil field project under execution in ONGC. This project is about the beauty of scale. With each new venture, ONGC is getting bigger, better and more confident of its growing capacity. A VLCC converted into a floating production, storage and offloading vessel, FPSO, designed to process 50,000 BBLs of oil per day and 2.96 MMS CMD of associated gas, is the biggest deep water FPSO in India. The STP Boy, one of the components of the FPSO turret, is the largest STP boy fabricated till date, 16 meters in diameter and weighing 998 tons. The CPP jacket, weighing over 9,800 tons for offshore process platform under the project, is the largest ever jacket installed by the launch method for use in Indian waters till date. ONGC is executing this project from Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh. The fields located at the KG Basin in the eastern offshore of India was set up against some very challenging odds. ONGC had a very narrow working weather window from January to April. 
This region is prone to hostile weather conditions, cyclones and high surface and subsurface sea currents on the high seas. Backed by its vast area of expertise in the oil and gas industry, ONGC took it upon itself to overcome geohazards such as an undulated seabed, steep terrains and mass deposits that make the field development much tougher than elsewhere. But given that it has been determined that most of the future gas production in the country is expected to come from this region, it was something ONGC was set on achieving. The project will further give Philip to strengthen India's energy security and have a compounding effect on the country's exchequer and provide employment to thousands of people. ONGC has always been a front runner in nation building through its CSR initiatives. The aim has been to develop and improve the quality of life in and around Kakinara. Towards this effort, it has taken on many project segments, be it healthcare, education, or sanitization and hygiene. India is currently the world's fourth biggest importer of liquefied natural gas. But as a nation, we want to boost local gas output with a target to raise the share of clean fuels in the country's energy mix to 15% by 2030. India's emerging green economy is rationalizing and reorienting the country's energy mix to meet its global climate change commitments. And ONGC stays steadfast in its contribution to this paradigm shift.